Hello everyone, in this video I'll tell you how to get all the vessels on Diablo Immortal for the legacy of the Horror Dream which will give a great boost to your character. First thing to do is of course to unlock the Sanctum and for that you need to be level 49 or more and complete a level 10 rift. After that you can go to the Sanctum at the right of the rift. First one, Caldesan Compassion which you get in the rift level 10, it will increase the armor penetration, so interesting if you are playing a DPS and will require the blue materials to level it. The second one is also very important, Talrasha Authority, because it will give you increased damage, so this one is mandatory for the damage dealer, and you'll find it in the Lassal Raid, meaning that you need to be 8 to kill this boss in order to get this vessel. For the Jared Ken Vision, you just need to complete the main story quest in order to get the stone, so you'll get it level 60 and killing the boss of the end. It will increase resistances and potency with the blue material. So now you'll need to be level 60 in hell in order to get these vessels except for the last one but otherwise all these ones are found in hell only. This one is quite hard to find because it's in a public world meaning that anyone will try to kill the rose and the thing is that if you are in the AoE when she reaches midlife she will heal herself a lot so you need to be very patient and very cautious in order to get this gem. For Nortirage Knowledge, which increases your life, this one is quite easy to do, you just need to be at the good place at the good moment, so you have a timer for the Nightmare Boss in the Mount, and the idea is just to check the timer, and when he's here, you just go and kill him. For the Cat and Pietin, you need to go also in the Moon 7 in order to find the boss at the bottom left of it. If you click on the altar, you'll know the timing before this boss to spawn, so you can just wait and kill him when he's here. So now the last three vessels which are very hard to gain. So first you need to understand how the quest work in the library. The thing is that it's a semi-global event because you can find the page but other players can too, meaning that if you take a page it will disappear for everyone so you need to be very quick and not get your page stolen by someone. The best way to do it is in a group of four because once you have the five pages you can either get a portal, the hydra or the golem. We are only interested by the Hydra and the Golem because they will give us the last vessel that we are looking for. Always be in an area with not a lot of people because as I mentioned people can take the page from you and once you have 5 pages you can activate the tome in order to hop for one of the boss. Also if you are lucky someone will do it for you in the server for example for my Hydra it has popped when I was looking for the pages. For the last one, the only thing that you need is luck because you need to have it from the chest in the sanctum. Don't forget that every time you open a chest, it will cost you more keys, so just make sure to not waste all your keys in a single try. It's about one chance on 100, so good luck to get this last vessel. Thanks for watching this video, I hope it will help you to find all the vessels in Diablo Immortal and good luck to find the last one.